This is Rock Leach with Socialfire. Okay, so we gonna act like Bishop Brandon Porter didn't expose us to a real problem when he went live on Facebook. I mean, Kojic is making between Church of God in Christ, rather, is making between for the city of Memphis thirty to fifty million dollars in that one week. So they don't own nothing. Where's the money? And why don't Church of God in Christ own more things after being there for 100 years? What in the world is going on? Oh, we about to talk about this. Let's go. Now, I've got to look at several things with this because I actually did that video a, a few days ago actually just out of respect for the people who are around me who helped uh, raise me or who are connected to me and my roots uh, just to be respectful to Church of God in Christ and what's going on in the city of Memphis. Now, let's be real honest about one thing. Um, the city of Memphis is in debt. That's what it is. They're in the debt. Uh, looks like they're in debt to the tune of uh, $858 million. They got a million do that much of a deficit there in the city. So they squeezing everything. I mean, they're doing a lot of things to get that money. And even in that deficit that they have that they don't care nothing about the Church of God in Christ. A lot of folk that they had relationships with, those mayors, those city leaders, and they done gone, they done died and gone on. A lot of those bishops that they had those good related relationships with have died and gone on, and they want their money. That's what it is. But we got to look at this from this standpoint. Why don't they own, and when I say they, Church of God in Christ, with all that money that's being raised, why isn't there more ownership? Now, I've got to give a shout out here uh, to other um, influencers in this space who actually brought the video up. And y'all, when I did it, I was only just trying to be respectful to the people who I, you know, just share the information. But when he brought up the number, I myself was caught off guard and was like 30 to 50 million dollars. And he was saying it. Bishop Brandon Porter was saying it. Uh, as a flex almost, like, yeah, that's what we doing, so y'all should be able to do this for us because we we bringing that money in. Well, you, you kind of said something out loud that you shouldn't have said out loud because I was caught off guard in the video. I'm like, well, if y'all bringing that much money in, why don't there, why why isn't there a convention center? Now I'm gonna tell you this: a lot of you, and I'm gonna give my shout outs, but a lot of you went down through the comments and y'all y'all put good stuff down in the comments. I didn't know someone said, and y'all can fact check me on this, but I don't know. Someone said the pyramid there in Memphis uh, was there was an opportunity for the Church of God in Christ to purchase the pyramid there. Uh, that didn't happen. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's the case, but if it if if it didn't happen, why? Why isn't this convention that's coming there and loves to be in Memphis, this convention that's been coming for 100 years, why haven't they made more accommodations to make it easy for the Saints to be there? Mm -hmm. And by doing that, taking ownership. Now, I'm going to get into the hotels and all of that in a minute, but I want to give these shout outs right quick. I want to give a shout out uh, to another uh, influencer who I have a respect for. Uh, friends here on in this space and a uh, watchman on the wall, and that's going to be uh, uh, Sir Walter Jones here. And I, I don't know if you all watch his show, but uh, he brought it up uh, and gave a great historical background with going uh, with the Churches of God in Christ. I mean, he even pulled out the Elders Manual. I have that same. Listen, uh, <laughs> Sir Walter Jones, I have that exact same manual uh, that you pulled out before they shifted. You know, the black one that they give to a lot of the preachers, you know, when they get or, you know, ordained and stuff with that gold cross on. Yes, sir. I, I own that. And so he gave a good regard, uh, a good um, articulation, if you would, of Church of God in Christ historically. Uh, and I think you need to, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go over there and check out what he's got going on. And uh, I want to give another shout out here. Um, to another brother, Pastor Ray Curry, uh, Jr. of the Unction. Now, this brother here did, he he reacted to the video, and uh, I want to let you know, Pastor Curry, I'm not offended. <clears throat> I'm not offended. I have family that's a part of Church of God in Christ, but it is a reason that I'm currently is I'm not a part of Church of God in Christ. I never pastored in the Church of God in Christ, and we'll get into all of that one day. Uh, but and I'll probably make a video about it. But I'm not. And I don't take any offense. And what you said was correct. I want to say to both of these men, both of these men of God, keep doing what you're doing. 
Uh, hopefully one day we can have a conversation. Both of them are musicians, both great music, <laughs> great musicians. I'm a musician as well. And uh, just respect here because they brought up great points uh, in reacting to what Bishop Brandon Porter had to say. Now, let's get into this right here. I know that right now in Memphis, it's in debt. Let's go ahead. It's in debt. And let's put some principles out here, some things that I want you all to look at. Uh, there are two hotels currently uh, that are for sale in Memphis. R right now, there are two hotels that are in uh, for sale in Memphis right now. The Crown Plaza in downtown Memphis is for sale. Uh-huh. And that's 230 rooms. And then you got the Sheraton in Memphis. Now, it's supposed to be being bought by the uh, city of Memphis, according to the information that I got. Now, it's for sale. It's got about 600 rooms there. Now, why isn't the Church of God in Christ putting together something uh, to go ahead and purchase these properties? Why, you know, because uh, I, I looked in the comments and there were a lot of people that were saying a lot of things that I was like, no, that's that's not business. No, that's, it's, uh, so let me give you all some things that, that, and the reason that I stand the way that I do when, it look at, when I look at these kind of things. Now, I'm into real estate investing. I'm into real estate investing, and I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, when it comes to buying properties and stuff like that, I don't want to manage nothing. I just want the money. I don't want I don't want to manage nothing. I don't want nobody calling me in the middle of the night because the toilet done flooded. I don't want any of those things. Uh, and so I'm saying this to say, I'm saying all that to say this right here. One of the comments said that, y'all, Church of God in Christ owning a hotel, who going to work the hotel? Who's who's going to who's gonna hire the people? Who's going to, that's more than a notion. No, it's not. No, it's not. You've got Bill Gates. You've got Donald Trump. Now, I'm not supporting Donald Trump. I'm just talking about the business acumen. You've got all of these different people, uh, Branson. Uh, you know, you've got all these different great men, uh, rich men, who do the same thing that I do on a personal level, is that they don't want to, they don't want to manage it what they do is that they put a property management team over it where they just receive the revenue from it but what the church of god in christ if they do this what the problem is going to be where the money gonna go and i think that may be the problem is that when you do those kind of things you open yourself up to more scrutiny uh with the irs with the government different things like that and that's why some of these things ain't happening y'all let's just be real about the money that's leaking and causing the boat to always y'all if we we go back and Sir Walter Jones brought this up very well, talking about that lotion that they were selling, trying to get that uh, the Saint Center or whatever it was. They were trying, he said that runny lotion. <laughs> Oh, I laugh when he said that. But we got a history of not doing well when it comes to raising money. And you got people that have their hands out. Let's just call it what it is. Let's just call it what it is. It's mismanagement. It's poor financial planning. You got folk who put money in their pockets. All these reports. God called me to preach, but I got to pay a report every year for my license. And if I don't pay the report for my license, I'm no longer called by God. Now, it's it, that's not specifically what they're saying, but if you don't pay the report, you you know, I'm just saying, why we got a report? You know, all these kind of things. Now, I know that's the way that it's set up. I know some of y'all going to be like, well, that, that's just what it is. That's, that's the way that it's set up. Uh, I understand that. However, uh, I'm looking at this from the standpoint of all this money that's coming from everybody, everywhere, coming to the churches of God in Christ, all the things that the city is able, that they're bragging about raising in the city, all of these things that are going on right here, and yet no convention centers, yet no no property uh, that's owned that are helping the saints when they come, there are no accommodation. Let's be real. Uh, I am not a fan. I'm going to say this, and I know some of y'all might, whatever, you might get triggered for this. I'm going to go ahead and give you some time to step off the video. Mm -hmm. Give you some time to step off the video for what I'm going to say. I'm saying that I don't care for Bishop J. Drew Sheard. I'm going to go ahead and say that. We were actually going to do a video that I decided not to do, and I'm getting into this money thing even stronger, that I decided not to do to talk about the corruption in the Church of God in Christ election process for the presiding bishop. Yes! Yes, I said it. There are verifiable and verifiable information out there that's saying we got a problem. Uh, and are we in are we in search of putting people up in front of people who are popular, who have some level of television exposure, but don't have leadership qualities? This is where we are. Why, Rock, why are you talking about this now? I decided not to go ahead and put that video out about the corruption. One, I knew I was going to have to end up being in court for that. That was going to be really offensive. 
and uh, not fearing that because we strapped up over here with what we need to be able to come against different things like that. You sue us, we sue back. That's what that's what happened. But I'm not out here just trying to start a fight that I don't have to. I'm just looking at the leadership standpoint of what's going on. You've got several people who may be called to be the presiding bishop who will never get it because you got other folk paying for the position. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Ain't, 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 no, ain't nobody going to say it. So not only do we have a money problem, we got people uh, that are in the church of God in Christ using their money and influence to get what they want, and it's just running over the people. So so let me say this. Rock, so is the church of God in Christ, can we still say, and I know y'all going to get in the comments, and I hope I, I hope I upset you. The church of God in Christ, is it still spirit-led or is it people-led? Let me go further. Is it spirit led, people led or money led? Mm -hmm. And will there ever be able to be a purchase of property and different things like that in this place that you call your Mecca, in this place that you call your Jerusalem? Will there ever be any uh, property to be able to be bought when you've got hands being greased and you've got money uh, leaking out of the boat when you've got all these different things that are going on? Will there ever be able to be any problem? I mean, in, any solution to this? I'm mean, just saying, will we be able to cure this sickness, this sickness of greed? Memphis is greedy. Let's be real. It is. But they're trying to they're trying to heal a problem that they got with this, uh, you know, bad leadership that have been in place. But there's also a problem maybe in the church of God in Christ have bad leadership uh, and the change of administration. Is that a part of the problem as well? When it comes to purchasing properties, y'all, I'm just looking at this. How do you do bring a city 30 to 50 million dollars a year and you don't have nothing uh, as far as uh, property to help the saints? You want them to show up, but you're not helping with the accommodation. And then you're even being squeezed by a city that's in debt. Let's go even further than that. Um, Memphis is in debt. Uh, to the tune of eight eight hundred and fifty eight million. That's what their deficit is from their fiscal. That's what their fiscal deficit is right there. St. Louis. That's the other one that wants you to come there. St. Louis. I don't know. St. Louis might not need y'all to come there. They might want y'all to go somewhere. We don't want the problems. Yeah. But St. Louis actually ended their budget, their fiscal year 2024 with a um, $42 million, $42.2 million uh, surplus. They actually end it with money. So that's why they can go over there. They how they got things together over there and they don't they're not desperate for it and they're willing to do things. I, I just think that you should just go on back to uh, St. Louis. I think that that's what needs to happen. But I think the money problem would just go on to St. Louis. Kojic needs a leader. They need a leader who can get this figured out. And not only get this figured out because you got too many people rubbing shoulders with each other, just trying to be stay in favor with one another. And this is why I'm I want people uh, like Bishop Patrick Wooden to be a part of that, uh, to be a part of the general board. I think there needs to be a, a new, uh, a fresh wind uh, in this old mindset. I think there needs to be a new spirit, not just one man, but I'm praying that God gets a new spirit in there. Somebody in the comments asked me, uh, come on back home to your roots. No, no, because I it would be a video on a regular basis about the problems within Church of God in Christ uh, because I got a team over here that can investigate and stuff like that. They would hate me. I would just end up in a lot of lawsuits over here. Uh, and so, I want to know what you think about it. Why doesn't the church of God in Christ own more things? This is crazy. And um, it's it's crazy. Where's the money going, y'all? I want y'all to tell me where's the money going. Well, I want y'all to tell me. Don't, don't mess with me. Don't say it's this and that. I want y'all to tell me where's the money going. And for those of you, I need you to understand that church of God in Christ can own things there in Memphis. They can own stuff and just get the checks from owning it. They can own it and put it to somebody else to uh, manage it. Y'all, this happens all the time. This happens all the time on a large scale when you're looking at people like uh, Bill Gates, when you're looking at people like um, uh, Donald Trump, when you're looking at people like uh, the Branson guy. I forget it. Uh, what is his name, Branson? Uh, 
uh, Richard Branson, uh, for Virgin Hotels and different things like that. Y'all, Robert De Niro, these are people who will go out, buy property, but they just want the checks. They're going to put a property management team over it to run the day-to-day stuff like that. And when the profit come in, that property management team takes their money that they need and they send the rest to the uh, person who actually owns it. And y'all, this happens. There are actually groups out there that do do this. There is a property management team for hotels, Marriott International. They do this. You've got interstate hotels and resorts. They do this. You've got all kinds, Highgate hotels. They do this. Where if somebody, if the Church of God in Christ bought those hotels down there, they put these property management teams in place and that money that they get from uh, from the hotels and all of that, it comes over to Church of God in Christ. I'm just saying, once, you know, the expense is taken out and stuff like that. But why can't Church of God in Christ do something like that, where you own it and you put somebody else over it to manage it, uh, a property management team that does it? If somebody can do this on a lower scale, such as myself and other people who are uh, investors like me, I'm not trying to have no calls about no toilets and all that kind of stuff. I don't. It's just not what I'm going to do, me or my wife. We're not doing that. But what we do, we'll do is that we'll buy the property and we'll just put uh, property management over it and let them do all what they're going to do. I don't have to worry about screening folk. I don't have to worry about uh, none of that. Don't want to know none of that. I just want the checks when it's, <laughs> when it's time to get paid. And uh, maybe one day I'll do a video and talk about real estate investing more. But uh, just go ahead and putting that out there because this can be done on a larger scale. But Church of God in Christ may be greasing too many palms. I'm just going to put that out there. All right. I want to know, ultimately, what do you think about this? Jump in the comment section because I know a lot of y'all might need some CPR after all this stuff I done said. All right. Jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let's go.